Hi, Brent. How are you today? I am better than I deserve, Isaiah. How are you? <laughs> That's good. I love your attitude. And uh, thanks for joining us. As you know, we're opening up enrollment into the association again soon, and we'd like to talk to associates such as yourself uh, with PhDs who have transitioned into industry. So again, thanks for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Always a pleasure to speak with you. Yeah. And so maybe you can just start by in introducing yourself in full and the position and company that you're with now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name is Brent Oyer. I have a PhD in biomedical engineering and just transitioned as a medical device analyst at Medtronic. Great. Congrats again. Yeah. Successful now. Very happy. We can see that. Um, but yeah. I want to rewind a little bit uh, into the past. Before mm -hmm. uh, you got hired, before you even joined the association, what were the challenges you were having in your job search, both technically and in terms of mindset? Yeah, first, technically, it was trying to network from afar because I'm sure that a lot of uh, PhD students have to get out of their college town and find a job elsewhere. That was one of the big technical challenges. And really, that came through in terms of a LinkedIn profile and being able to present myself to hiring managers and recruiters from afar. Yeah, not easy. And was there any barriers mentally that you had in, in knowing where to start or being confused? It was the academic mindset and just thinking that all my publications are going to entitle me to a job. I'm not going to have to look for anything and everybody's just going to come knocking at my door and offer me a job. Yeah, I've, I've been there. That was not the case. Yeah, and that's usually a big wake-up call. So you experience that wake-up call. You joined the association. What were some of the immediate benefits you noticed after joining? Yeah, I think the biggest aha moment that I realized was that companies are looking for what the PhD means and not the PhD itself. They're looking for people who can solve problems, who can manage projects, manage time, manage people. Something that we're used to as PhD students every day. Yes, yes, well said. So. And I think you're right, problem solving, critical thinking, comprehension, how fast you mm -hmm. learn new things. We don't think of that as being a, a valuable skill, but often it is. Um, and in terms of the materials, was there any training or anything that you read or watched that really kind of helped you change your mindset on LinkedIn, resumes, otherwise? I think it was just the overall, um, the core training modules, the especially module one and two, where we go over resumes and LinkedIn profiles that really got me thinking of, oh, I need to cram everything in two pages to let me focus on the most important things, don't bury the lead, and really get the recruiter or hiring manager's attention within five to seven seconds. Hmm. And then in terms of, I mean, the real differentiator for the program, right? The people, the private group, the network. How did, how did this help you? What, what did it mean to you? What was the support like? Well, it's realizing that I'm not by myself and that I'm not the only one going through this. So the, there are PhDs all over the world who have a similar background, who are going through similar things. And it was nice knowing that I'm not alone and I can rely on them to see what the best practices were, things that work for them, and things to avoid. And how quickly were your answer, uh, your questions answered? How responsive was the group? How active was the, the private group? Uh, the group is amazingly active, and my questions would be answered, like two or three hours would be a slow response. Mm, wow. And my last so. question is, you know, as PhDs, sometimes we, um, we analyze things very carefully, which is a good thing. Um, so did you have any reservations prior to joining? And if so, how are those reservations alleviated after joining? It was, is it just this one time upfront fee or is it gonna be this upfront fee and then to get something more a year down the line, it would be more money and more money and more money. But no, it's a lifetime membership. It's that first initial fee and then we have access to all the materials for life. So. Well, congratulations again on your new career, uh, Brent. We're, I really appreciate you being on, and we look forward to watching your continued career success. Mm -hmm. It's my pleasure, Isaiah. Thank you so much.